Hello, hello, my friends. How are you? I'm so glad you joined us for story time at the library. We're going to read What Floats in a Moat. I wonder what's going to happen in this story. Let's find out. What Floats in a Moat by Lynn Berry. Archie the goat stopped short at a moat. He measured and mapped. He doodled and drew. He sketched and scribbled and scrawled. Aha! To cross the moat, pronounced the goat, we build a contraption to float. Or, said Skinny the hen, we could just take the drawbridge. Bah, said Archie. Drawbridge, strawbridge. This is no time for a drawbridge. This is a time for science. Right, said the hen. Science. The hen and the goat, alongside the moat, took stock of their cart of supplies. Hmm, a barrel might float, mused the goat. We begin with a barrel of buttermilk. The hen and the goat alongside the moat hammered and nailed, clanged and banged. They wired and tied and built the SS Buttermilk. Archie the goat climbed aboard. Ready for launch, he called. Ready, said Skinny the hen. Push, said Archie the goat. I am pushing, said Skinny. Shove, said Archie the goat. I am shoving, said Skinny. Heave, said Archie the goat. I am heaving, said Skinny. Heave, oomph. The barrel and goat splashed into the moat. Glub, glub, and sank. Archie the goat dripped out of the moat. Take note, take note, pronounced the goat. A barrel might not float. <laughs> Apparently not, said the hen. Shall we take the drawbridge then? Bah, said Archie. Drawbridge, flawbridge. This is no time for a drawbridge. This is a time for science. Hmm, said the hen. Science. Archie the goat gazed at the moat. He puzzled and pondered. He doodled and drew. He sketched and scribbled and scrawled. Aha! To cross the moat, pronounced the goat, an empty barrel might float. Empty, said Skinny. Empty, said Archie. Drink, Skinny, drink. <laughs> drink buttermilk, asked Skinny. Indeed, said Archie, for science. Ha, said Skinny, you are the scientist. Ah, said Archie, but you are Skinny. Skinny held her nose and started to slurp. Ugh. Ugh. She guzzled. She gulped. She slipped and slurped and guzzled and sipped and slurped and gulped and slipped and slurped and guzzled to the bottom of a barrel of buttermilk. Ugh. Bah, said Archie. Then goat and hen hammered and nailed. Clang, bang, clanged and banged. They wired and tied and built the SS Empty. Archie the goat climbed aboard. 
Ready for lunch, he called. Ready, said not so skinny the hen. Heave ho! Splash! The barrel with goat splashed into the moat and floated and tipped and rolled and tossed the goat into the moat. Archie the goat dripped out of the moat. Take note, take note, pronounced the goat. Indeed, a barrel does float. And yet, said Skinny the hen, we remain outside the moat. Bah, said Archie. We try again, Skinny the hen. Uh, again, groaned the hen. Indeed, said Archie, the third and final barrel. Drink, Skinny, drink. The hen sighed. The hand slipped, the hand sighed, the hand slurped. She guzzled, she gulped, she stopped. She could not drink another drop. Ah, said Archie, just right. The hen and the goat alongside the moat hammered and nailed, clanged and banged. They wired and tied and built the SS ballast. Archie the goat climbed aboard. Ready for lunch, he called. Ready, said Skinny the hen. Barp. Heave, 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 oof. The barrel with goat splashed into the moat. And sank, but floated. Sank and floated. Eureka, said Archie the goat, and he paddled across the moat, just in time to meet the queen hurrying from the castle. Archimedes, called the queen, for Pete's sake, next time take the drawbridge. And where is the rest of my buttermilk? Uh-oh. In the moat pronounced the goat, <laughs> and in the hen, moaned the hen. All, said Archie, in the name of science. She drank a lot of buttermilk, didn't she? Science, fussed the queen. Science? What about my buttermilk? Ah, said Archie. Buttermilk, guttermilk, this is no time for deliveries. This is a time for discoveries. Indeed, said Skinny the hen. And look, she's taken the drawbridge. Oh, they got a little bit of buttermilk. The end. Wasn't this a great story? I sure liked it. I will see you next time. Bye.